Hello everybody, my name is Luca Romain and I am working as a manufacturing engineer for Dassault System. You might have noticed that many industrials are transforming their production site. They are trying to help saving life by stopping producing car parts and replacing the production with uh, the assembly or the production of medical devices. Transforming a production line is easier when you got the right tools. Our team uses the 3D Experience platform to simulate such transformations. To illustrate that, we have explored the different medical devices accessible online and chosen to focus on two different ventilators. The first one, seen here, is the fruit of the collaboration between the 3D Experience Lab team and an Indian startup called Inali. We really liked the design because it is simple, efficient, accessible and sustainable. Indeed, most of the parts can be printed and the other are standard elements. For our second example, we choose a more robust product, designed by Medtronic. This company is sharing the 3D model of the PB560 ventilator on their website. This ventilator is certified to be used to support the most affected patients in intensive care units. Our team is present in different locations, all impacted by the lockdown. We are all working from home in order to stay safe. Let's see how we can adapt an existing production line to support alternative processes. Here is the line we are going to use. Usually, it is producing car seats. You might be familiar with the U-shaped design of the line, which is pretty common in the industry. Now, let's see the different steps we took to transform the line. I started by exploring the 3D models of the products, defining the manufacturing bit of material and identifying the different assemblies for each product. Based on that, I established the process planning, and we balanced the task for each workstation. We would do this for every project. The goal is to make the system as efficient as possible. In parallel, my colleague started to work on the layout of the line. One of his goals was to stay as close as possible to the original configuration. Still, some modifications are necessary, and we made sure that the social distancing barriers were well respected to ensure the safety of all people working on the line. Benjamin also defined a flow simulation to validate our productivity objectives. It shows the evolution of the productivity KPIs through the time and helps us to identify the critical inputs of our system. With a few clicks, we modify those inputs and observe the changes. In order to offer the base place to work, we can analyze the ergonomics aspect of each workstation. The idea is to evaluate the postures of the operator for different tasks and propose an alternative that reduces the risk and allows the operator to work in a safe and comfortable environment. Based on lean manufacturing principles, the layout design for safety should be a foolproof one. We made sure to respect the safe operating distance of 2 meters defined by the World Health Organization. To connect the virtual and the real world, I prepared 3D work instructions. These instructions are similar to the one you would use to assemble furniture at home, but are much more intuitive thanks to 3D. Johanna is also currently working on the definition of the part fabrication. Here is an example where she simulates the print of the main part of the ventilator designed by Enali. We might continue this experience by thinking about how to automate the process or about how to maintain those ventilators, extending their life cycle. The 3D experience has many other things to offer but this is all for today. Take care.